Hello and welcome to episode 105 of my Elden Ring playthrough. Still on Mount Gelmir, I just realised that I've got to switch these back. Although we may end up immediately starting to use them again. Uh, what did we have on the last one? Ah yes, intelligence. Once we get to our next destination, but before that we have a place to quickly visit. We have our sevens. So let's go get our pack of wolves and watch my dinghy up to the next tier. Oh, well, yeah. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Uh, we already know what that is. Ah, damn, we need some more souls. Um, it's fine, we have plenty of these. We have plenty of these. Uh, use ten of. I didn't realise I got up to a stack of eight, uh, 99. Okay, there we go. Now up to plus eight, they now need two more, no, three more to get to max level. Um, can we upgrade our staff anymore? Well, I took you for it, no matter it's lay out your arms. Uh, strength and armaments. We could bring that up. Um, but no, I want to... We only have two of those. I want to save. Not quite enough fours. Uh, these all sixes. Oh, no, these are fives. So we can't spend those because we want those, or we want those six to bring this up to um, 14 once we got it past um, needing fours. I could bring, I mean I could get this all the way up. We could get it past the um, needing for sixes and then sevens. I think we have enough sevens that we could get it past those. I'm deliberately not doing because if I get this really, really high, then I'm going to favour this weapon over all of the others. And that's not how I want to play. I want to play with all of the weapons evenly. Hmm. We do have some smithing stones. I really should consider... Swapping something out. Do we have an ice-based straight sword? I don't think we do. Something that I can swap my offhand out for. We don't. Yeah, I don't think we even have a curved one. We have an ice based rapier, but. Hmm. Where is that ice based rapier? It still has Impaling Thrust, it's just it has an extra ability on it. It may be worth me swapping out Roger, Roger's sword for this one. And leveling up Frozen Needle a bunch. Because the only time I'm using this is against enemies with shields. And I'm almost never using it against undead. So there's no real reason for me to keep this sword... Oh, or keep a sword that doesn't have the ability to enchant it. The weapon I really want, I don't even know if it exists. I want a ice-based twin blade. Just a straight-up ice-based tw ice twin blade. Um, Because I don't think... Oh, we can. We can upgrade and enchant this one, but this one scales predominantly our strength. Even if we put... Um, Uh, ice base element on it. Hmm. I'll give you a think about it. It might be worth me... Let me actually upgrade that. I don't think there's any Back reason already. not to upgrade it. No man. Uh, let's see. That should be enough, I think. Oh, we can actually wield these now. 
So we could have these two magical swords on us permanently if we really, really wanted to. Um, but no, what we're looking at is this thing. V four. This makes it six. Seven. It's still predominantly C-based scaling, though. It has a pretty high base attack. Um, it's just not making as good a use as my dexterity as this one. It does wind up with more attack in general. And it's Impaling Thrust. Which is the ability we would keep on it. I think let's swap over this one so that we don't need to keep using um, things to upgrade this. Uh, oh, we can get it up to nine. But we do not have one of those, and I don't think we would have used one even if we did. Okay, let's swap that weapon over. Uh, that's not made as heavy load, has it? It shouldn't have done. I don't think it's that much heavier. Okay, let's get back to where we were. Uh, we were heading to there, but I wanted to... run... Yeah, we wanted to run through this, just in case we missed another cave on the side. So let's see, is it that? Yeah. So if you do a heavy attack with this, you get a little bolt that goes off, so you can actually reach longer with it. And then it still has not pain in for us. Still my offhand. So yeah, it's just that the heavy attack on this one is a slightly longer attack and it fires a bolt of um, frost, whereas Rogier's um, was like a quick triple attack or double attack. Pulse three time explode, isn't it? have ourselves a look in here. We haven't actually got to the uh, or the top end of that bridge yet, have we? It's not staying that. So that's not a zero amount of damage, but it's not exactly a large amount of damage. This does mean we only have one weapon that we can ideally use against those that live in death. Okay, it's a one-way cave. What kind of um, critical attack does this weapon have? I never checked. Oh, it doesn't have any kind of critical attack. 
Well, that's a shame. Well, I suppose it's not like that critical has ever made the difference. down. Poison. Let me just get some light down there. Um, which one's light? I think we just, yeah, accept the poison. Damn it, I pressed up when it did nothing. I was pressing Z. Okay. Not going too bad. Don't we have something? Ah, right, yes, we do have something. Why haven't I been using them? Uh, boost immunity. Don't we have two of these now? Yes. Okay, let's go back to equipment. Let's swap you for that. You for that. No, we can only have one of each type. Okay, that's fine. And then we go eat. That one. Eat that one. Ah no, we can't stack them and the one of them is better than the other, we forgot. Normal meat is better than the other one. press space but I pressed it too late so I accept that damage
We're about to be pounced. to suspect invisible walls, but still, no reason not to check. Um, I could use, if I can get another awesome back attacks, then let's swap that back over for this. Where's the near one? Wasn't there one nearby? I don't know, there's just three of them circling over there. We're not going to get a back attack over there. Um, maybe we will. Going for a back attack might be a bad idea. There could be four of them rather than three of them. There is four of them. Accept the poison. Not like that. <laughs> If they were in sync, that would be one matter. They're not, though. Okay. There's five of them there. Okay, we're going to have to use this. It's fine. This is nasty. Oh, they drop down. Are we actually still poisoned? We are. Well, that did not go well. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. I should have just killed all of the ones down below first or run past them. How do we get up there? This goes down. Did we miss that? Still one up there. Um, that's not the crafting menu. That's the crafting menu. Yeah, we still have plenty of it to be able to make more of these. Did we miss it over here? Hmm. 
Uh, it must be accessed from somewhere else entirely. Either I missed an entrance or a pathway really early on, or... Ow! I will accept the poison. We can cure the poison. That's all of our goddamn health. This is an order of magnitude more nasty than previously. Admittedly, we're making mistakes and this room was just a nightmare. You do still have that up? Yeah. I didn't mean to roll. We actually can't get back to the entrance. Well, here's our respawn, which means the boss is down there. much fancy my chances at a boss when I have no flasks to heal with. That's how we get up here. Is this the only item? I think this is the place we saw the overhang item. This will not go well unless we can get them all dead real quick. Your attack wouldn't make the range. Okay, we're going to do this. We have to be very careful. careful for. Good. 
that all that's in here? Interesting, we now have a full set of that. What does that give us? Start with the head. Mushroom head, mushroom crown. I think the crown we got elsewhere raises attack power when something nearby is suffering from poison or rot. To enrapture those by scarlet rot, uh, they are holy vestments of, or holy vestments that one or root one of the earth. So it doesn't have a special effect, it's just fungi for armor. Okay, we can't not fight this boss. In other words, we can't retreat to heal, get more flask back. We have, have, we have but one recourse. If it's a bear, we're screwed. It was a bear last time we did this sort of thing. I want to be able to see what it is. There's every possibility if I fall down here, then what's going to happen is... Um, uh, one of the rocks will break. That wasn't the one I wanted to do, what I wanted to do. What are you? Here's our wall. I think we just summon wolves. Um, just because they will give us the most distraction. We could have done that if it wasn't for their spray attack being so ridiculously hard to dodge. You're almost certain to get clipped by some of them. I don't think I've ever successfully dodged the entire attack without being blocked by a wall. Wolves wasn't a bad call though. Gotta be careful from being followed by rats. Okay, at least now we know what we're dealing with. Um, so let's go flask. We don't need that. We'll go straight to that. Let's just take them on with this. Let's just bum rush the one directly in front of us. Why did you attack the alternate one? It was asleep. Ah! 
let's unlock. Because of the way these guys move around, it actually makes it real fucking hard to target them. Kindred of Rot Exaltation. I can see why they were made a boss. They're a nightmare to fight. Just the way they sliver around just outside of weapon range. Um, Kindred of Rot. I bend that's a talisman. Poison or uh, poison or rot in victims or in vicinity increases attack power. Okay, I am fairly happy. We explored everything. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Uh, the water down here isn't like rot of anything, it's just nasty water. Or rather hot water. Where the hell are they coming from? There has to be something bigger and nastier down here, methinks. would be bigger and nastier down here, but... Let's wait for this one. Oh, this is how we get to there! Oh. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Things were going too well. I don't know why it's explicitly this game or explicitly this game while recording. At least nothing was lost. Unless it deleted my save file, speaking of which I need to make a habit of backing up my save file. At the end of every episode I should back up my save file. Because it is just begging to get corrupted this way. Just went off, so let's go through. Okay, do we see any siege weapons? No. I still don't trust the um, general layout of this place. Well, there's a um, site of grace over there. So that's usually a good indication that we're not going to get attacked before we get there. 
There's a fight going on somewhere nearby. Nothing here. Hello, Aurelia's friends. Are you pointing me towards a cave? You usually are. Oh no, you're usually pointing towards a catacombs. But sometimes you are just around graveyards, this is true. Let's get off, get the appropriate weapon, get everything else ready. Let's make the assumption ahead of time. Any of those that live in death? Oh, are you going to get angry if I pick this up? Just a stone sword key. It's nothing that valuable. Hmm. What gives you guys? You're not usually just hanging around a place. Apparently they're just chilling. Oh, these guys. How do you like coal? Not being able to roll while you're staring at your um, weapon is a little annoying. You got in the way, that wasn't aimed at you. Those guys are gonna be a problem around here. We used a lot of magic just to kill two of them, although admittedly we was aiming for an entire group of other things as well. But still, it's not like they don't have a large amount of hit points. And I'm not sure if ice actually is a counter to them. Or frost. We should call it frost because that's what it is called. What are you attacking? Okay then. Stake of Maokai over there. Let's be careful, we are around... Say what now? This is how we get around, or at least around to here. Um, you chill. We'll come back to you later. We'll need to go over the lava at some point, I imagine. It does look like there's stuff over there.
these guys again. And just get around everything here. <laughs> we'll have to take them on the way back, one way or the other. I think that's the plan. Oops, this is the wrong button to collect. Okay, we need something big to knock this thing over. I don't think you cut it. Do we have to get that dragon th knight over here? Come on, hit it! Not there we go. You made the attempt. Okay, we need some kind of dragon. Sorry, not dragon. Giant. Wait, that's a fire spell? Since when does fire come in spell form? One of the sorceries developed from Mount Gilmere uh, fires a lump of concentrated magma that explodes after a short delay hitting the target. Uh, charge enhances potency and further delays the explosion. After discovery of ancient hexes of Gilmere, uh, Rykar, son of Queen Renala, Uh, yeah, that's right, Rykar, Rykard, son of Queen Renala, um, brought them back into practical use as a new form of sorcery. I didn't know she had a son. We've only heard about their daughters. Although the name Rykar has come up before. That'll do it. That works. <laughs> oh, I hate the idea of having to... It's a rune bear. We hate rune bears. We have to deal with a rune bear with a bunch of those. Using that attack. That's not fair, that has unlimited range. Such little damage against it. I want you away from your friends. You are too close. Look at all that health gone. I have to heal after everything or I will take lethal damage. Because look at that. Taking this thing on on half pass back is not a good idea because Go. 
God damn you for burying your head in the ground! I could have finished you off with a single attack if you hadn't stuck your head through the fucking rock. Ooh. I def definitely hate the Crucible Knights more. Definitely hate the Crucible Knights more, but... Room Bears. Jesus. Why FromSoft? Why? And they respawn! At least with the Crucible Knights, when you kill them, they're gone. I'm afraid your friends are all dead, I've killed them all. Oh, we missed one. Hey, that gave us three back. So I, you cannot be allowed to live long enough to become another rune bear. Oh, did we actually um, pick up the loot? I don't think we did. Or if we did, I was too concerned about the rune bear to actually um, pick it up. We're standing right in front of it. We've got to have picked it up. We haven't. It's still glowing. It's over there. What was in here? Three Sombin Smithing Stone Sixes. Can't complain. They'll get use. But we still need fours. And fives. Uh, yeah. This is going all the way around. We don't really have the time to fully explore this area. Ah, there we go. Maybe we call this episode a little early. Holy crossbow. Craftsman Shack. Uh, there's something I didn't check properly. I'm just curious as to... Yeah, fire and, or intelligence and faith. That's... More or less what we should have expected. Missed them all. Oh, hello. You blend in well with those. At least one over there we can see. Is that a Iron Virgin? It is. Is it after us or is it attacking them? What's it doing? Break it. 
Yeah, there's no head on it. Okay. That's it dealt with. The Iron Virgin must have led over. I definitely saw three of them coming at me. Mental buds. Not seeing a cave over there. Let's just quickly check over here. And then we shall leave ourselves outside the front of this village. Me thinks. Trying to get out of the habit of, oh, we can just do a little bit more and then ending up an hour and a half in. Okay. So we'll call it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll continue tomorrow. Um, let me just. I need to make some small notes. We need to remove these. And we need to go, I think, along here, along here, along here, along here. There we go. Now we know that we do need to double back. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed the show, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio.